first and foremost, uh, what what kind of a player is Fabio Vieira, and what what should Arsenal fans expect? Uh, trying to give a non-biased answer, but he's he's a brilliant player as well. Arsenal have got he's try try to take off the uh, the 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 blinkers, but he's he's up there as as one of my favourite players, not just Portuguese players, but players in football at the moment. A player I really admire watching. Uh, he's a creative player. He can act as sort of that link between midfield and attack. He's versatile, can play anywhere across a front three. He's played as a number eight and say a 4-3-3 on the right-hand side and that kind of Bernardo Silva mould. He's got a brilliant left foot. Um, he's just a really brave, energetic player, someone who loves to get on the ball and to be honest, it's a, it's a transfer that, although I think he could have maybe had one more season in Portugal, that's probably just be me wanting to see another year of him uh, at Porto. But it, it's a big move for him at a massive club like Arsenal, and I'm really looking forward just to see how, how he gets on, to be honest. Is, is there any worry that the move's too early, or do you think he's the kind of player that can take this on his shoulders? Well, he's a player who's who's had to deal with frustration throughout his career, uh, even from when he was a, a youth player. In terms of, he didn't get selected for the like the national teams until very late. I think maybe the under seventeens or under eighteens, um, and then at Porto under Sergio Conceição, he wasn't playing much in and out of the side, um, and at the time, especially a lot of Porto fans were getting frustrated in that they wanted to see more of him, but. It's clear that Conceição had this plan of slowly, slowly bring him into the side. And then when Luis Diaz ended up moving to Liverpool, you saw just the player that Vieira was and, and, and became sort of over those last couple of months as he took on that, that on his shoulders. So I think this move for him is just another, another, you know, if he doesn't get immediate game time, it'll be something that he has to get on with. And, and I'm sure he'll get his fair share of minutes in the, competitions that Arsenal will compete in but could he have done another year in Portugal possibly you know it probably would have benefited him in that he hasn't actually had a full season of Porto where he's an established starter but saying that the way that the Portuguese market is now if he has another season at, at, at Porto is and perhaps signs another you know long long term deal more eyes are on him more clubs are after him and mm. I think what you're seeing now I discussed this recently on another podcast, is rather than players staying in Portugal for a year or two more whilst clubs monitor, uh, these clubs are sort of triggering it early now, as if to say, if we're not in there now, you know, if we're too late, then, you know, they may end up uh, sort of moving on for bigger money. So smart business by Arsenal. And I'm sure the Mikel Arteta and the team there will, will know how to manage his minutes and Mm -hmm. and, uh, make sure that his, his development doesn't sort of, uh, stunts. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he managed to get 20, 20 uh, goals in in the league in in twenty six games, which is an absolutely incredible stat. I, I'm not expecting him to bring that into the Premier League just like that, like for like. But how how much how hard do you think it would be to sort of replicate something even similar to that? Um, to, he didn't score 20, 20 goals. Not not Vieira. Twenty goals um, on Tuesday. That- sorry. Are you looking at tw- yeah twenty goal contributions? Yeah. Um, Sorry, yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Um, so uh, yeah, I think it obviously there's that sort of bridge between the Premier League and the Premier League. Some players can take to it very quickly, i.e., someone like Luis Diaz, or it might take him a little bit longer. But it, I think no matter what league he's playing in, he's always going to be able to create chances just because of the player that he is. His reading of the game is exceptional. He, he gets onto mm-hmm. the ball. Sometimes, and it's a it's a pro anacon. He will try and play uh, play the 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 pass that no one else sees, and most of the time no. it comes off. And um, so, okay. what was happening was he was he was pro- like providing these magical assists, and and you think it doesn't really matter where you're playing there if you can put a ball through through a defense to a striker who can finish, you're going to get mm. assists at the end of the day. And and then his his um, his goal contribution in terms of scoring as well. Is he's, he scored a couple of set pieces? He's a good set piece taker. Whether he'll have that duty at Arsenal, I, I'm not too sure. <coughs> but um, he can he can strike them from distance as well. And mm-hmm. I, I think with him as well, he, he's a player who he doesn't need goal contributions to stand out. The case in point, 
Portugal's last uh, the under twenty one tournaments, the 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 last Euros. Um, Portugal lost in the final to Germany, but Fabio Vieira won player of the tournament. He only scored one goal, and I think he provided mm. one assist. But it's his overall play. It's it's <coughs> those sorts of um, you know he plays a lot of sort of secondary assists. He'll link play together, maybe play mm. a nice smart ball out wide for someone to to cut back across goal for a striker to be there to sort of tap home. It's those sorts of things that can go unnoticed, and then on top of that, his goal contributions are are, are crazy as well. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah. Some something I like like to ask you, Aaron. Um, <clears throat> a player that you know Arsenal are really looking for this to bring in is is a number eight type of player. And th- there's a lot of people I'm getting asked, um, and, and it's all over Twitter whether whether Fabio can do that job. Um, does it? Does he have a defensive attribute to his game, or or is it just plainly in the final third of the pitch? No, he, he does have defensive attributes. Uh, I think so, is is I can't remember exactly what what, what they were, but his his defensive numbers sort of pay ninety when he when he was playing, um, right. especially when he was starting were, were, were good. His work off the ball is is great, and I think that just comes from the fact that he's an intelligent player. So he's reading the mm. game. He's he's not simply someone who will switch off in a game and wait, for, and then as soon as he gets the ball at his feet. It all of a sudden he sort of comes to life, and we, you know, there's there's lots of players yeah. that are like that where you think yeah. it's risk reward. You know, they'll drift. Mm. He's not like that. He's constantly buzzing about, constantly trying to put pressure on uh, the opponents when they've got the ball. And I think, to be honest, the reason I believe the main reason uh, that he developed this sort of defensive side to his game as well is playing under Sergio Conceição. Now, those who know Portuguese football or know if you're not doing the right things, if you're not doing mm. what's expected of you, it doesn't matter how many goals and assists you provide. For Sergio mm. Conceição, you'll just you'll hit the bench. He's done it to, to players for the last couple of years and he's he's won titles doing it. Now, I think his him and Vitinha as well, Vitinha who was sent out onto, uh, to Wolves, they both had to sort of improve what they were doing without the ball. Um, in order to get those minutes on the pitch. And then you see what happened towards the end of the season. Consistence was putting more faith in him, more trust in him. And that's because he was working hard without the ball. As I say, at times he has played as that. If, if Arsenal say line up in a 4 3 3, that sort of right sided central midfield position. And mm. I mentioned his name before, Bernardo Silva, because I think their sort of positional trajectory, the way they, yeah. their careers have sort of moved, are, are pretty aligned in that. Bernardo was often shunted out sort of right wing, not as your typical pace, you know, he'll try and sort of, sort of beat a man, get to the byline and put a cross in. It was almost like he mm. would play in this central midfielder in a in a wide position. That's mm. like what Fabio Vieira is. And like Bernardo as well, he's worked on his, mm. his, his work off the ball. So, yeah, I think if he plays with another two midfielders with him, with a proper... Um, maybe defensive, more defensively minded midfielder, there's no reason why he can't play a little bit deeper. Yeah, yes. well, great. That's good there'll, be some, there'll be some old school bods that'll be looking at him and thinking he's very slight, very looks very lightweight. Is there any worry that he, he won't be able to handle the Premier League strength wise? I mean, it's 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 it is it is, a, it is a, an old it's an old thing, but it's also a very a very relevant one. Uh, I've already seen quite a lot of people online saying, you know, you'll have to hit the gym, and you know, maybe he's not he's quite <laughs> small. He said he's not worried slight. about, didn't he? And then, yeah. but it, but to be honest, he's um, I wouldn't worry too much. I wouldn't worry until I see him and, and see how he sort of handles it. Because if we look, I mean, historically, how many great players have been at the same sort of size and stature, mm. and in the Premier League mm. again. I mean, we can't get away from mentioning Bernardo Silva, but again, yeah. if you're reading the game, is that is that good? And you've got that sort of low centre of gravity, and you've got that little bit of a little bit of aggression there, a little bit of bite as well. And then, yeah. then you can you can more than hold, hold your own. And mm. he's a he's a very brave individual. He's not going <coughs> to shake out. Uh, I can tell you that. So um, Arsenal will have, I'm sure, will have some sort of a uh, plan for him. Maybe get him a little bit bulkier. Get him on some uh, yeah. strength regime. Uh, but uh, keep that sort yeah. of nimbleness as well. 